Prince William's adorable bedtime routine with his youngest son. Prince Louis, was sweetly revealed, during the garden party he hosted on behalf of the king at Buckingham Palace. The future king showed his tender fatherly side when budding author Rowan Adderin, part of Prince William's Homewoods team in Newport, went, handed him a self-penned children's book. The book, named after the homeless project and featuring a boy called Jack who meets a lady experiencing homelessness and wants to help, touched the prince deeply. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. This is great, so inspirational. I'll read this to Louis tonight at bedtime, Prince William said as he accepted the book, which the author mentioned was one of only ten copies. This isn't the first time the prince has shared insights into his family's bedtime rituals. In 2020, during a visit to South Wales, the Prince and Princess of Wales, were engaging with the community, but their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were never far from their thoughts. During a stop at an ice cream parlour where they spoke with parents and carers, Prince William spotted a child reading Julia Donaldson's Room on the Broom. He couldn't help but comment, I read this to our children all the time. He humorously added that the book had saved many bedtimes, revealing he had met the author when she received her CBE for services to literature. I said, do you realize how many parents you have saved at bedtime? He recalled. Prince William also praised another favorite author, saying, David Walliams also does good books for children, for a little bit older children, I think. I've read one, and it was really, really good that said last year, it was revealed that Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis follow a much stricter set of rules than most children, under the watchful eye of their nanny, Maria Borrelow. Ms. Borrelow, a graduate of the prestigious Norland College, ensures that discipline and structure are maintained in the royal household. Louis Heron, an expert on the college, highlighted Maria's no-nonsense approach, Maria will be aware that as they step off planes, holding mum's hands, smiling and waving to the crowds, there can't be any crying or tantrums, she told Daily Express. Ms. Borrello emphasized plenty of outdoor play, a hallmark of Norland's philosophy. There will be lots and lots of outdoor play, Mrs. Heron noted. Loads of fresh air, lots of bike rides, playing with their dogs, potentially some gardening. Norland is very into teaching children through play. The royal children also adhere to a strict 7 p.m. bedtime, with new flavors and foods introduced regularly to prevent fussy eating. Screen time is limited, and Ms. Borrelow uses games and jigsaws to teach them through play, ensuring a balanced and nurturing environment for the young royals. The Prince of Wales was joined by his cousins, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Peter Phillips, Zara Tyndall and her husband, Mike Tyndall, as he hosted a garden party on behalf of the King at Buckingham Palace. Prince William personally invited his family members to join him at the afternoon soiree, as his wife, the Princess of Wales, continues her recovery from cancer treatment. The rain didn't put a dampener on proceedings as William and his cousins mingled with guests, including a number from William and Kate's patronages, affiliations and passion projects including, Homewards, RAF Valley. Swim England and tenants across Duchy of Cornwall sites. The future king, 41, joked that it was perfect weather for swimming as he met with Douglas Whitlam, president of Swim England, and later revealed that his son Prince George, 10, was a potential pilot in the making as spoke with Reverend Squadron leader Chrissy Lacey, who produced a bag of her freshly baked cookies for self-confessed biscuit lover William. William also left with a children's book he pledged to read to Prince Louis at bedtime from budding author Rowan Adderin, part of the Prince's Homewoods team in Newport, Gwent.